Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's Kelly. And in this video, I'm going to be using Trinity Stamps Autumn Rainbow from their Autumn Rainbow release. And I cannot say enough wonderful things about this stamp set. I personally love making cards with leaves, you know, fall themes, type cards. And this set is has a great price point and it's definitely diverse it come you have a stamp set you have a die set and you have a stencil all sold separately and i'm pairing them with the a2 quilted cover die and the stencil trio set i'm going to be using the polka dots that pairs with the quilted cover die and the trinity stamps with gratitude for my sentiment I'm going to be using some Tombow markers in the rainbow colors to do my super, super easy water coloring. And in the interest of saving time, I die cut my leaves, seven of them, out of Bristol cardstock so I can watercolor them. And I'll be using VersaFine and Hero Hues inks for my card. So let's begin. Now, these leaves, like I said, I, I cut them out with Bristol cardstock and on Bristol cardstock and I'm just laying down some super easy you know no no technique uh, needed here no you know no special uh, talent or skills required for this I just colored the leaf on the bottom part and then I'm not going to show you all of them because it's repetitive but I'm just gonna lay down the orange here I bring in the water from the top of the leaf and bring it down and then just move the color up so it gives like a little bit of ombre and it doesn't have to be a perfect blend because you're going to be stamping on it with the veins the the leaf veins afterwards the yellow was a little bit light it dried back a little lighter so I added a little bit more uh, yellow to that to make it brighter I did the same thing with the green as well it it had light I didn't put enough color down so I just added some more to that and you could always do that you could always add more color you can't take it away so it's always good to go light if you're not sure and I went ahead and die cut a piece of light gray cardstock and I die cut the A2 quilted panel and now I'm taking the this is the polka dot it comes with three this stencil set comes with three it's a uh, polka dots hearts and stars and it it has a little etching for a slimline on there and also for the slimline quilted they have a um trinity stamps has a slimline quilted cover die and they also have an a2 size quilted cover die and this stencil set pairs with both it's really really great and i just lined it up there's etching on the stencil it's hard to see in, in the video but i lined it up taped my cardstock down and now I'm just putting using some Hero Arts pigment ink I have about five pigment ink pads all different brands I won't use any names but I will tell you that this one is by far my favorite hands down no questions asked no comparison in my book now this tape I also want to show you I got this at Michaels it's called create createology I believe it's a Michaels brand and it's it's called masking tape and it's a whole sleeve of rainbow tape and it was ten dollars I used a 50% off coupon got it for five bucks and I have to say I'm pretty pleased with this tape it it's light tack and it holds my die cuts down great when I put it through the die cutting machine it's good for simple masking but if on the 80 pound on the lighter cardstock you might want to just remove a little bit of tack so it doesn't rip your cardstock i do notice on the thinner cardstock it may tend to pull the fibers so if you do get this masking tape just keep that in mind but for the 110 and the bristol i had no problems with tearing whatsoever now i went ahead and um, stamped my with gratitude and i used wow clear embossing powder to emboss it I die cut it off screen because my die cutting machine is on the other side of the room and I went ahead and die cut that out now I'm using temporary tape now I really struggle with temporary tape for some reason it doesn't always go on I don't know is it me is there anyone else out there that struggles with temporary tape not going on it's like it rolls but only a little bit of tape goes on where I want it to go it's it's really weird I don't know it 
I always struggle with that. So it, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Mine, I try pushing hard, pushing less. The results are the same. Anyway, so I laid down some masking tape here as a guide. Now, this way I don't have to keep, you know, moving my stamp each time for each leaf. I just made a little guide for myself. And look how, and then I used WOW clear embossing powder on top of my Versa, um, Versa Fine Onyx. And it came out so nice. Nice and shiny, shiny veins on top of my leaf. Now, I'm, again, I'm not going to show you all of these. I'm just doing a few. But look how nice that comes out. Now, next, this is the hard part. Making the wreath perfectly round. You move one and another leaf moves very, very, uh, once you get the, your image down exactly how you want it, fuss around with it a little bit, take a piece of glad press and seal, works great. Just let, or you can use masking paper too, works as, just as good. But I like this because it's clear. I lie it down straight on my images, that, on my leaves, and then I'm able to pull the whole thing up and it all stays together. Now you can add your glue, but in this case, I'm gonna be using double-sided tape because I wanted my wreath to be propped up a little bit. So yeah, there you go. I, I put all my, my tape on the back and see how you can just move it as if it's one unit and it just makes things a lot easier. I removed the tape. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to my image because I said to myself, you know what, if I get this on crooked, I'm not going to have any wiggle room. So I added a little glue to my foam tape. This way, if it wasn't perfectly straight, I had a little wiggle room with moving my, my wreath exactly where I wanted it. Once I have it down where I want it, I push down the image, make sure it's all nice and tight there, let it dry for a couple seconds, and then peel back the glad press and seal, and voila. I went ahead and added my With Gratitude. I added a little bit of foam tape and so it would lie flush with my wreath and some glue where my sentiment matched up with my wreath. And I went through my sequin uh, gem storage for, I wanted sequins. I don't use sequins very often on my cards, but I wanted the same color sequins to go on my leaves to add a little bit of shine. And that is my card. Now, if you want to end it here, that's fine. But if you want to hang out with me a little bit longer, I'm going to show you I made a coordinating envelope. So let's move on to that if you're still with me. Now, I went ahead and this was a little bit bigger than an A2 because my uh, leaves were sticking off the edges of my card. So an A2 envelope would be a little tight and I didn't want to cut the little tips of my leaves off. So I'm using here I went ahead and used a piece of die um, I think it was it was 80 pound Nina and I used my we are memory keepers punch board and I die cut I, I mean I scored an envelope to be four and a half by five and a half and once I had that I took my autumn rainbow stencil and I took my eye crafter blender brushes and my distress inks I keep one tin of rainbow colors because I like these are like my rainbow colors and instead of pulling the meat out of each tin I keep one tin just for my rainbows so I'm taking the stencil I'm just going around I'm being mindful of where I have to put the recipient's address so I'm not going to fill up the card with the um, the leaves I'm just sporadically putting a rainbow of leaves around the envelope and I'm using that tape I mentioned before um, to mask off the edges so I don't get ink where I don't want it and I really like these blender brushes I've only used them once before and uh, I have to say I, I'm, I'm digging them I have small fingers and some finger daubers fit differently than others these are a little bit big but that's okay I just hold on to the side and they work great I have ones from scrapbook.com. They're a little smaller. Like if I move my hand, they won't fall off. These will fall off, but they work fine. Okay, so now I'm going to add the veins to my uh, leaves on my envelope. And again, I left sp spot on the top right there for my stamps. Usually I forget that, and I <laughs> it's just a waste of time, right? 
and I also left a little gap on the top left for me to write my return address. You could also write it on the other side of the envelope, but I wanted to write it in black. I wanted it to balance out the card where the stamps and everything are, so the postage stamps rather. So I, this is why I put the leaves where I put them. And again, I just went around, added the veins, stamped it in. And that's what's so nice about this set is that there's so much versatility there. And there's the end product. See, I hope you like it. I really, really like the way this came out. I'm pretty happy with it. And I hope the recipient that receives it enjoys it just as much as I enjoyed making it. So if you get a chance, folks, please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please leave a comment down below. And if you get a chance, also check out Trinity Stamps Instagram, Instagram TV, Facebook group for more inspiration. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay crafty. Thank you. Bye-bye.